Hey guys, so in today's video, I wanted to give my first impressions of the U-Part wig that I'm wearing right now. And this is from Big Chop Hair. Um, when I was looking for a kind of more kinkier textured wig, I was looking at a couple different websites and I decided on Big Chop Hair, um, mainly because of the pricing. Um, I did get it during their like Black Friday Cyber Monday sale, so I feel like I got a pretty good deal on it. Um, I'll leave a link for it in the description box if you guys want to check it out. I don't know if they still have a sale right now, um, like a holiday sale or anything. Um, but the texture I got is the Corkscrew Curl, and this is an 18 inch U-Part wig. They do sell it as like Wes or Clip-Ins, um, but I decided to go with the U-Part because I felt like it was the easiest for me. I mainly wanted it as an uh, protective style because the last hair I had in the Brazilian curly hair, um, I didn't do well with blending my hair with that. I really should have gotten a closure. Um, so I ended up using heat and further heat damaged my leave out in this section. Um, so I need to do like a, some sort of protein treatment to kind of help with that. But um, that's kind of a bummer about <laughs> the heat damage. Um, so I wanted to give my hair a break from using any kind of heat and kind of like just sew-ins in general. Um, which I tend to go towards in the colder months because I just, I don't know, I just never really... Um, like to wear my natural hair out too much when it's really cold outside um, and this hair looks so much like my natural hair texture when I wear a twist out um, my boyfriend was actually um, he was tricked he thought it was my hair <laughs> but he, I, I'm sure like the length he was like oh did she just grow all that hair overnight but um, he thought this was my hair that's how convincing it is um, but my hair um, with the leave out, I don't know if you guys can really see. I'm going to post some pictures on Instagram so you guys can see it more up close. Um, but I just did a twist out. I just really did um, two twists and I just untwisted them and kind of blended it in and it worked. It was so easy. Um, and this hair, I this is actually the first day I'm wearing it. I co-washed it last night. When it first came, it looked very... Um, uniform and just tight and um, like flat so I went ahead and co-washed it I did get a little bit of shedding um, when I was like um, detangling it but it wasn't much and that's probably just like some initial shedding I'll keep you guys updated um, on the shedding as I wear it um, but I just co-washed it I put a little of my Eden Body Works leave-in and some Comet Biologics Twist and Lock Butter. Um, I just kind of massaged that through the hair and hung it up and let it dry overnight. And this morning I just took my twist out and clipped the U-Part wig on, which is a little bit weird for me because it's the first U-Part I've ever put on my own head. Um, so the cap construction has three combs on the leave out, like one here and then one like right at the back of the leave out and then there's one on each side and a comb in the back and there's also adjustable straps. Um, I am I have all of the clips clipped except for the one in the back because I do notice like when I used to wear wigs and the comb in the back used to kind of break my hair a little bit so I'm not going to really use that um, clip in the very back. Um, but the adjustable straps kind of really help it like hold down pretty tight and it feels pretty darn secure like it's not going anywhere and it's very comfortable um, which I love um, but so far I love the texture of the hair I can tell like the more I play with it the more it's really going to fluff out and I really want to experiment with doing twists on it and um, just different styles and everything like I feel like it's still going to be really fun to play with this and um, another thing is the ends of the hair do seem a lot thinner than the rest of the hair which I guess gives it a natural look because no one's hair especially when it gets some length no one's hair is the same thickness from root to tip so that's just another thing to think about when you see it um, it does have some thin ends um, I might go in and trim a little bit of them I don't want the ends to look too perfect um, but I do feel like they will like tangle or I don't know they just have like a little bit more of a brittle texture than the rest of the hair. Um, so I might go in and give those a little bit of a trim um, 
and maybe shape I did shape up the front like a tiny bit I just just trimmed a little bit um so, so that it wasn't so long in my face but I'm gonna go in and trim it a little bit I don't want to cut too much of it because I do want it to be very versatile um, I'm gonna let you guys see what it looks like in the back and I did have it in a ponytail when I was doing my makeup so it might have like a little bit of a dent in it from the ponytail but this is the length in the back and this is the 18 inch length again so you guys can see <clears throat> and so far i love the hair um i can't wait to do more with it and kind of give you guys some updates on maintenance and um styles um be sure to follow me on instagram to kind of see more up close pictures of the hair so if you guys have any other questions about the hair um or if you have any future video requests regarding it um that you want me to do you can leave those in the comments as well thank you guys so much for watching i'll see y'all in the next video bye